This is your Catholic Daily Journal for Saturday, January the 5th, 2019. It's the twelfth day of Christmas, and so tonight is Twelfth Night, the end of the religious season of Christmas and the traditional time for the burning of the greens. This is the beginning of the time of Epiphany and the season of Carnival. Today in the Gulf South of the United States and in most of South America, the countdown clock starts on a party that will last until 11.59 p.m. on Mardi Gras, Fat Tuesday, and will stop cold with the arrival of Ash Wednesday. The tradition is that the burning of the greens in a bonfire on the eve of Epiphany is accompanied by a Christmas carol. And then the queen's soup is eaten, along with the first piece of king cake to begin the carnival, a word that means farewell meat. And so the party was meant to be a way of celebrating Christmas and Epiphany and clearing out the old stores of food in anticipation of the Lenten fast and the spring harvest at Easter time. January the 5th is the day in 1066 when King Edward the Confessor of England died without an heir. He was a great king who managed to undo many of the failings of his predecessor Canut, but he failed to leave an heir, and the Battle of Hastings, which changed warfare forever, took place less than a year after his death. And that marked the end of the Anglo-Saxon rule of England and the beginning of the Norman dynasty. Finally, today marks the death of my favorite U.S. president, Calvin Coolidge. Born 1872 and died today in 1933, Coolidge was the 30th president of the United States and believed that the executive branch should be as little like a monarchy as possible. He implemented the laws that that were ratified by Congress and did very, very little else. He traveled and spoke as rarely as possible and took a good three-hour nap every afternoon. He was one of the most successful presidents, if you look only at statistics, in U.S. history. President Calvin Coolidge died today in 1933. A poem for today by William Shakespeare from Act Three of The Tempest, where Caliban monologues about the virtues of sleep. Be not afeard, the isle is full of noises, sounds and sweet airs that give delight and hurt not. Sometimes a thousand twanging instruments will hum about mine ears and sometimes voices that, if I then had waked after long sleep, will make me sleep again and then in dreaming the clouds methought would open and show riches ready to drop upon me that when I waked I cried to dream again. Shakespeare's The Tempest, Act 3, Scene 2. The Catholic Daily Journal is supported by listeners like you. For more information, visit catholicunderground.com. And until next time, be on the lookout for the Lord at work in your life.